We have a delicious, whew, it's a lock the gate and close the blinds. This is some world famous stuff. Y'all got to watch this. It's crazy. Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. Now you already know, I'm going to throw this together Fat Daddy style. So stick around. Fix to chunk all this on the grill. On the patio master, six thousand baby. Woo! So here's what we got: some cabbage. Now, world famous. Let me tell you something about world famous. These taters right here, the Irish taters, all right? English, yes, England, English peas. Them purple holes and pink-eyed purple holes right there. That right there is from Mississippi. And the, 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 these tomatoes right here, Panacha, Russia. This one, Bellarosa. Yeah. I don't know where that's from. Then we're going to put some jalapenos in there from Mexico. That's a, that's a zucchini. Jalapenos in there. Mexico. Okay, amigo? Plus, we're doing some oregano, some Mexican oregano from Mexico. And we're going to we're gonna get all this chopped up. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. we got some onions from Texas, some grano onions. And uh, we've got some corn, uh, bell peppers, garlic. Let's see what else. we got some carrots. And then, and then we're going to put about two pounds of meat in there and a bunch of seasoning. Stick around. First thing we got to do is fire up this Patio Master 6000, baby. Yeah, get it fired up. And we got to get that meat browned up. So about a pound of meat in the pan, grease and all, leave it in there. While that meat's browning, let's get these purple whole peas shelled. Let's take a peek on that burger. Yes, sir. It's ready. Let's go get some water and get it in the pot. All right, we're starting off with two quarts of water. We're going to get the purple whole peas in this pot uh, first because they're going to take a while to cook. That, the potatoes and carrots, so they're going in directly. That's about a quarter, roughly about a quarter purple holes right there. Rinse them off. Get that garden dirt off there. Get this lid back on, and then we're going to go get them taters cut up and the carrots. Get them in there. Like I said, they're going to take a while. There's you about a half a quart right there of carrots. Them peeled and cut up in the pot, baby. All right, let's get some spices. We got some oregano, some turmeric. Put some steak seasoning in there. Pepper, basil, paprika, and this is Mexican oregano. They're going to throw some fresh garlic in it also. And we'll we'll chunk all this in there, and then we'll get a we'll get to tasting on it, and we'll get to jacking with it. I probably put a, a you know what I'm going to put two beef cubes in here too, three beef cubes, them bullion bullion cubes. We'll throw three of them in there also. So, and then then we'll go from there and jack around with it and, and sip on it and taste it and see where we're at. Let's go in with these taters. That's about a quart bag full of taters right there. Just. Chop them up about like that, or however you want to chop them. Get them in the pot. Let me show you something on this, on cooking over an open fire like this. She's roaring pretty good when we dump some taters in there. She's not now, but it's hot on this side, so we can flip it around. You, you Make sure you use your rag, because you'll, you'll reach down there and grab it and go, man, I forgot my rag, but, or you can scoot her on down yonder way, away from the fire just to touch, you know. You can feel for it yourself. Uh, she'll get back to bowling here in a minute when them taters get up to temp. And then we'll get the rest of the goodies in there. All right. Here's the okra and a little bit of onion. Get them in there. I've decided to roll and just get all this stuff in there because I don't want nothing to miss out on some flavor that it might suck up in there, you know. Like the, like the uh, potatoes might absorb some goodness or whatever. So let's get it all in the pot. There's some okra and onion. We're going to put a little bit of bell pepper in there and some tomatoes right now. Forget that squash fat, Daddy. Woo! That's all I have on the zucchini. I forgot the squash because we ain't got none. 
peas. That's ones we froze earlier this year now. So ain't none coming on right now. Get off there. That's hot. I'm going to grab my tomatoes. Drop some tomatoes in there. I'm not going to cut them up small or nothing. They're going to stew in there anyway, right? A little bad spot will cut it out right on the right on the concrete. All right, get it in there. Oh, it's looking good. Look how pretty that sucker is in there. Isn't that crazy? Let's get some corn off the cob in there. Look at that. Isn't that delicious looking? Woo. Yeah. We're not gonna put all this in there. We're gonna run out of room. Now, if we had a bigger pot, boy, I'd just dump it. We'll just put a little bit in there. It's like looks like the cabbage is going to be a little bit too. You ever heard of the story that you know your your eyes are bigger than your plate or your belly? You start piling all that stuff up on your plate when you when you're hungry. I put a little bit of bell pepper and uh, onion in there. Now we got the jalapeno and cabbage next, and but uh. Uh, my 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 gr ingredients is bigger than my pot here, but uh, that's a big Dutch oven. But that's that's all we're doing for that one. We're gonna put the uh, jalapenos in there and uh, the garlic and cabbage. All right, let's get some cabbage in there. Big old couple, big old handfuls in there. Scooch over, y'all. Scooch over. Coming in. Coming in, baby. Woo! Then we're going to put about four or five cloves of garlic in this. And we'll let her sit there and simmer around and all that. I, I, I got this garlic already peeled. Just kind of just knocking it off a little bit. No matter what size chunks you want to put in there. Unless you like it real small. There it is. Get in there. We'll add a stick of wood to this, get this lid back on. And we got that jalapeno coming. And then we'll taste some flavor here in a little bit. Sprinkle them jalapenos in there. I got another chunk of wood on there. Throw, just got it thrown on there. Get it licked on. I know this is absolutely pitiful, but, but look what I found. Three green beans on the other side of the house, so let's get them in there. It, it, they're, they're stalled. They're, they're played out for right now until uh, a lot of times folks will just drag them down and be done with them. But uh, they'll keep on going once it cools back off. They'll start blooming back out pretty good. Right now it's so hot. That they're just chilling back, stalling right now, staying alive. And you can feed a big gobs of people with, with with this type of soup right here, especially if it if I didn't add more water to it and uh, make it more of a concentrate, where you can take that concentrate and add it into a bunch of water, a little bit more seasoning, and uh, you, you can shoot, you can feed gobs of people. We're talking that size pot right there. I bet I can feed fifty people. Oh, you ain't what? I can feed fifty people. I'm going to have to make a batch of rice as the filler. And that'll go down in a bowl, and then we'll put a little bit of that around it just for the flavor. And then feed a bunch of hungry people. So you actually could feed a lot of people with that, that amount of soup. No problem. Uh, just have to get the flavors right. All right so who, who makes a big world famous Garden Fresh big old giant pot of soup at the hottest time of the year in July? Well, here's the deal. We had a bunch of uh, uh, product, produce and stuff that needed to be put up. We had a bunch of cabbage and, and so forth, bell peppers and tomatoes. And so we decided we're, we're going to make this giant pot and we're going to can up hopefully a couple cases of somewhat concentrate. So uh, this is what we're doing here. And to show you it can be done over here on this little Patio Master 6000 without no propane. So I've gone all the way with it right here. Uh, except for the corn that was already pre-cooked and uh, cut off the cob because we didn't eat it all. 
So this can be eaten the winter. See, I'll, 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 we'll have enough to, to eat us, to run us through the winter. No problem with, with this soup right here. Take a peek at this. Here, look at that look. Man, doesn't that look good, y'all? I wish y'all could smell that. Mmm. Man. Everything is kicking. Look at that. Let's try the sauce. Make sure we're right. I'm going to let this cool off first. All right, here we go. I wish we'd have had some celery. We do have some celery out there, but it's just like little sprigs. I don't even know why it's still growing. It's so hot, but uh, it's partially in the shade. Celery would have been good in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little more steak season in there. You know what? I'm putting some fat daddies out there cooking season in there. If that's what it needed, yeah. Here it is. Got it in a different shaker. Let's get some fat daddies in there. Sprinkle it in there. All right. And I was having a little conversation with myself just a little bit ago, and I said, you know, what about some olive oil? And I said, you know, that'd probably be pretty good in there. Let's put a little olive oil in there. It'll give it a little bit of extra flavor right there. We're going to dump a little olive oil in there. It sounds like it's really coming out, but it's not. So there it is. A little dab of olive oil. Then we'll taste it here in a little while. Get a little bowl of this dished up. Work me cooling down a little bit. Catch your rag on fire, fat daddy. Ooh, wee! I already know, baby. You already know. Look at that. Huh? Mm. In parting. Out here having to water these tomatoes. You too can make a world famous fresh garden soup. You gotta get out here and grow it. You can do it. Never give in. Never, never, never. So it's a matter of getting after it. Get get a plan. Get some get some groceries in the ground and you plant it and gotta grow it, you know. Just do the best you can and get after it. That'll be fun and tasty. Mm -hmm. See you later. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Dutch oven on the Patio Master 6000. That's some soup. Woo! Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get some saltine on there. A little tomato on there. Look at that. I'm going all the way. I'm not biting it in half. All right, Ray. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Man, I outdid myself. I'm not kidding you, man. Woo. Y'all can do it. You can do it. There's Fat Daddies out there on the Patty Master 6000. And there's Fat Daddy's again, this big old pot. Because like I said, we finna can it up. You know the price of food. The prices of food, the way they're at right now, it's crazy. It's going up. That's going to be 14 jars of slightly concentrated. It's not going to be all the way concentrated. That's an easy 14 jars. Of quart jars, too, mind you, of, of good old-fashioned, good energy soup. Because them beans in there, they give you a lot of energy and that's some good old fashioned soup right there. So, so keep that in mind. And in, in, in your garden, of course, it's the wrong time of year kind of to eat soup. I mean, you can eat soup, but whatever you want. But, you know, normally it's related to like more of a cold weather type thing. But, but you, if you can put up uh, two cases of soup like that, shoot. And you take bust open that quart. And of course, you're going to add about a quart of water to it. You got you a lot of soup. Feed a lot of people. So, and that's, that's, uh, that's that's kind of a biblical thing in a way, cause cause you know consider the ant he works all summer long gathering up his groceries for winter, so that come winter time they got enough food to eat and 
they can sting your butt in the springtime, right? In actuality, you know, statistically, pretty much fact, most people put up, and I'm talking about most Americans put up groceries in the summertime and canned them and preserved them. I'm not talking about in the freezer, but, you know, some did that had a freezer. You know, I'd say prior to the 60s, I, I bet most, of, probably 50s, I, I bet most Americans had gardens and, and their families put up food, you know. Wasn't readily available at the store like it is nowadays, or like it is so far nowadays. It's good to go right now, isn't it? But uh, getting some water on these little darlings. So uh, it's, it's a good thing to consider. To, it, 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 it's going to save you money anyway. Plus, you're going to eat it. If you like it, eat, you know, put it up. If you don't like it, don't put it up. You know, it's like uh, tomatoes and all that. Same deal.